Okay, now we're gonna take a look at standing up to break the guard and then passing with the Toriando pass. And then we'll look at one uh, defensive option for the bottom player when your opponent stands in your post guard. talk about uh, the Toriando pass in two pieces. Okay, first looking at how to use, how, how to do uh, the standing guard break, and then looking at how to complete with the Toriando pass once we've opened the guard. Okay, uh, when I stand on my partner's guard, okay, this is a much more powerful way to open the guard than most seated guard breaks. Uh, it's quite a bit more dangerous too, which is why a lot of beginners struggle with it because I'm giving my partner a lot of room to move under me, okay, and a lot of ability to get under my base. Uh, if I stay here on my knees, it's very difficult for Conan to get under me, okay? But it's similarly, I don't have much, I don't have much of a way to exert like power against his leg to split his feet, okay? There's the, the kind of standard, just like shimmying backwards thing, but against an opponent with good hip movement, it's very difficult to get ahead of your opponent, okay? So um, I think standing to break the guard is considerably stronger. It's particularly important if you have uh, desires uh, to compete because uh, in a short match, six minutes, eight minutes, um, being able to stand and open your guard, up your opponent's guard quickly uh, is really important so that you can score. Otherwise, you can get stuck in the guard and stalled out for a long time. So I begin with a double collar grip. So I put my partner's collars together. Okay, I like to roll my hand in, and I'm setting up a brace against the middle of my partner's chest. I'm not necessarily like locking my arm out, okay, but this arm needs to be uh, in position to brace against my partner. So if Conan either sits up into me or goes to pull me down into him, this arm needs to be able to, to counter that motion. My other hand, I'm not gonna grab the pants, I'm gonna control my partner's sleeve. I'd like to pull it up onto my partner's body, okay? Having cleared the sleeve on this side, Conan's right, my left side, I'm gonna go ahead and step up with my left leg, okay? Because Conan can't grab my left leg with uh, his hand tied up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stand the rest of the way up with my other leg. Okay, I'm gonna keep a good posture, so uh, almost like I'm in the middle of a squat in the weight room, okay? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand tall, and as I stand tall, I'm gonna switch my grip to the end of my partner's sleeve. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna actively pull up a little bit to draw Conan's shoulder off the mat, and this is gonna make a number of his sweeping options more difficult, okay? I'm gonna continue to control this sleeve. My hand is gonna come to my partner's pants around the knee. I'm gonna push down and take little steps back at the same time to pop my partner's guard open. Once I'm here, I'm gonna drop the sleeve, and my other hand is to come to the pants at the inside of the knee. One thing that, so the reason that I'm controlling this arm as I stand up is because if Conan's able to underhook this leg when I'm still kneeling, okay, it puts me in a really, really compromised position. So if I, you know, go everything backwards, I've got, I got, I'm set up to stand with my right leg, but if I get you know, just forgetful and pass with my left, when Conan props that leg up onto his shoulder, I'm really, really vulnerable to a lot of attacks right now. My base is weak to this side, okay, so Conan can attempt to, yep, tip me over, roll me that way and go to the mount. That's no good, okay? If Conan can break this grip and pull my arm onto his body, I can get an arm barred, right? There's a straight arm bar that's pretty, pretty threatening, okay? If Conan um, is just able to re-grip my sleeve, maybe not even break the grip, but if he just re-grips, if he can go to like a pendulum or like flower to sweep, kind of sweep to this side, it's very difficult for me to stop that. Okay, if I, if Conan goes to that attack and maybe I'm able to free my hand and post, so he begins to throw me over to that side, but I post, well, I'm likely to get triangled when Conan drops this like through. Okay, and so this is a, a really uncomfortable position to be put in, and that's my primary goal when I, when I control my partner's sleeve, is to not allow my partner to make that control, okay? So double the pelvic grip, sleeve grip, hand on my partner's body, okay? And then I stand beginning with that leg, okay? Now, if my partner underhooks my leg once I'm standing, this is not nearly as concerning as when my partner does it uh, when I'm on the ground. Okay, here, we'll deal with it, okay? One of the ways we'll deal with that is by trading the grip off and pulling up on his shoulder. When I pull my partner's shoulder off, off the ground, the lumberjack sweep he's trying to hit me with right now is much weaker, okay? So I pull up on his shoulder, 
push down. If he keeps the underhook, we're actually gonna pass the guard a different way. So we're gonna talk about that on another time. Okay, so I'm gonna push down, take my hand to the inside of his knee, push down, little steps back, okay? Move my second grip to the pants, and now I'm ready to pass. Some of you will note that the guard break we're using here is similar to the guard break that we used when we did the staple pass a few weeks back. Um, I wanna talk about why I might pass the sleeve from one hand to the other. Okay, so I begin with my double collar grip, my sleeve grip, put it on his body, I stand up, okay? Pass the sleeve grip, okay? Now, does it matter whether I open with this side or with this side? There's not like a, a mechanical reason that I should prefer one or the other. Uh, I'm picking to switch the grip for a strategic reason, and that's that I wanna pass with my Toriando pass to this side. Okay, to set myself up from that, I wanna end up with my left leg back. Okay, and so that I'm passing from here. So right now I'm open to the left side, and it's gonna be easier for me to begin to move that way. Whereas if I'm here, like that's kinda, I'm moving to my back side if I go to my right, whereas here I'm, I'm pointed to the left. Okay, so whether you pass the sleeve grip or not, simply is a matter of which side you want to do your Toriando pass to, okay? So if I want to pass to the left, I want to be pushing down with my left hand and stepping back with my left leg. If I want to pass to the right side, then I want to be pushing down with my right hand and stepping back with my right leg. I'll show that one time, okay? So again, if I wanted to pass with my, to my right with the Toriando, I could just keep the sleeve grip, push down on the knee, Okay, and now I'm perfectly set up to begin that pass on this side, okay? I just happen to not like uh, turning on the passing to that side. I wanna go this side usually, okay? Or at least begin on that side. And so that's the main reason for switching the sleeve grip, okay? I wanna keep his shoulder elevated, so I don't wanna drop the arm yet, okay? But I wanna free this hand up to push on, on the knee and get myself, and, and step back and get myself lined up to the left. 